I'm here to tell you right now, we can. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. I've been just thinking about, okay, is there a concept there? And for now years, I haven't been able to find that concept. Uh, but recently that's changed. And um, I don't have a story, but I do have that concept that to me is as exciting as one, as exciting as two, um, is its own thing, and yet has this through line for all three. Uh, so it, it does feel like there's probably one more chapter to this story. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and I'm back for another video discussing The Last of Us and its potential sequel, The Last of Us Part 3. So recently I had just made a video discussing Naughty Dog's next game, which I do believe in fact will be a new IP. I discussed a recent interview from Sony and Neil Druckmann that got removed, and other statements he made about how it is very, seeming almost 100% like that Naughty Dog's next title will be a brand new IP. But on the side as well, Naughty Dog is working on The Last of Us Part 3, as it is confirmed that Naughty Dog is working on multiple single player projects. Currently, at least two, as far as I know, could even be three, potentially. We're going to be discussing a lot in this video, so please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, help us on the road to 400k by hitting that subscribe button, join about the near 100,000 people that have all notifications on for the channel by hitting that bell, and join about the near 30 to 40 percent of people that are subscribed by hitting that red subscribe button. We can go for 1,500 likes on this video. I greatly would appreciate it. And let's just get straight into it. Hope you guys enjoy. We've known since the Grounded documentary, and even before that, that The Last of Us Part 3 is seemingly confirmed at this point. It's not any d doubt in my mind. It's more the fact of when we could see it. So recently, Neil Druckmann had another interview with the LA Times where he discussed the future of the Last of Us franchise. As we know, Neil Druckmann in the Grounded documentary said the line flat and simple as I played in the intro. One last chapter, The Last of Us Part 3 will very likely be the final chapter of Joel and Ellie's story. As will it be the end of The Last of Us at Naughty Dog? That is to be seen as it's also been hinted that there could be spin-off series with Tommy... Joel and other characters down the line after a release of a potential part three. Here's a very important quote from this article. Today there's a hit show on HBO based on the game with a second season on the horizon and yet said Druckmann who is now the sole leader of Naughty Dog, I promise you we will not be the last of a studio forever. Numerous games he said are in the works including multiple single player projects. Now, hearing that numerous game line, that's more than two, potentially. We know, part three, new IP. Could there also be an Uncharted slash Jack and Dexter, Daxter game in that mix? Potentially. Maybe another remake slash remaster? Potentially. It does seem last as part two PC port, as we'll be discussing in my next video, is on the cusp of potentially being announced. We'll be discussing that pretty soon. There seems to be a new article and some information coming out. It's been done supposedly for months. And with it now being the crossroads, The Last of Us seems like it is nearing its end at Naughty Dog as being the head honcho. I don't think it'll be over after part three though. People think that's crazy because this HBO show will still be running. I'm sure Sony's gonna wanna be doing more. Neil's already hinted that there could be a spin-off game with Tommy. You know, we could do other new characters. Eventually if part three is really beloved. I definitely think that's not gonna be end, but a new IP will be thrown into the mix and I believe that will be Naughty Dog's main focus after a part three drops. They also say one thing is certain, they will be built in Druckmann's vision. We create experiences that are steeped in the story and character, especially relationships. The stories have some sort of philosophical core that everything is going to revolve around and feed into. So that kind of gives you a little hint what the games are gonna bring, like it's a typical Naughty Dog experience. So I'm very pumped for that. As I discussed recently, Naughty Dog has known what its new game is going to be for over a year or two. With it likely being, in my opinion, coming out next year with a potential reveal this year, that new IP. Part 3 is looking like a PS5 end of life cycle release, maybe towards 26, 27. And potentially at the latest, maybe PS6 launch title. But I do think 
Part 3 is well on its way as the Grounded documentary pretty much confirmed that. And like I said, Naughty Dog has not released a new game in now nearly four years. Nothing but remakes and remasters in the last four years. It is time for Naughty Dog to get some new stuff out because listen, I think as we as fans have waited plenty enough. There's also a cancelled multiplayer game which I'm still angry about and disappointed that that never even got to see the light of day. So I'm hoping maybe we can throw some things into that with part 3 and maybe put some multiplayer in that game as well. I want to discuss the Last of Us franchise. Obviously it's what I'm mostly known here other than my Telltale Games coverage. It's going to be heartbreaking to me if part 3 is the ending, but it would make sense for the story. I personally hope to God that they keep The Last of Us around. I think there's no reason to get rid of it. I do want other games and them to focus on more than just The Last of Us, don't get me wrong. But I think The Last of Us is their most popular IP. No offense to Uncharted, no offense to Jack and Dax or anything else that was before it. The Last of Us is their crown jewel. So I don't think there's any reason they should just completely discard it. I know a lot of people don't like it, and they're probably like, they're probably happy at the fact that that might end up being the case. But all good things come to an end. It's part of life. You don't live forever, and you know some things must end. Not everything is a Grand Theft Auto where it's gonna last forever and ever and ever, or Call of Duty where it's gonna last forever and ever. Good things come to an end, and it's unfortunate that Part Three could be the final stroke what we see for the last of us along with the hbo show when that wraps up as well but i'm pretty confident naughty dog will end it in a hopefully good light as we know the summer game fest is this friday do i expect naughty dog to show up no but there is potentiality so definitely i have the stream scheduled you'll definitely want to join the show in the small case that naughty dog ends up showing anything or playstation in general so definitely make sure to join us right around 2 to 3 p.m. EST on Friday for the show. As for when do I expect Naughty Dog to end their silence, as I said in my last video, I do expect it to be a showcase or a major event in the coming weeks and months. So stay tuned for that. Keep the faith. Endure and survive. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. If we could go for... 1,500 likes on this video. I greatly would appreciate it. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this. And as always, let me know what you guys think is on the horizon with Naughty Dog. Multiple single player projects. Potentially even more than just single player projects. We'll have to wait and see on that. But it's going to be an interesting time to be a Naughty Dog fan when they finally end their silence. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love and have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh,